Hey guys, welcome. This is Mike and just wanted to do a, a quick recording to hopefully answer some questions for a lot of you guys. Uh, been getting some questions. Hey, what would I what would I focus on right now where there's a lot of really cool enhancements with True United and where we're headed? And uh, uh, you know, Darren and I just wanted to uh, go back and forth and you know, he's built some really big teams as well and and uh, just really kind of give you guys some direction. Of course, you guys can do whatever you want to do. It's it's uh, it's your business, and uh, uh, I love that. I love the fact that it's free. I love that the fact that it pays four times any other platform out there and uh, no overpriced products, et cetera, and uh, just want to keep the main thing the main thing. So anyway, Darren, uh, if there's anything particular on your mind that we want to just kind of go through, that'd be awesome. No, Mike, and again, I really appreciate you doing this tonight. Um, you know, it's um, I couldn't think of a better person to come on here and, and simplify the message for people. You know, a lot of time when people, if you've been around True United for any length of time, whether it's been the last three months, six months, 12 months, or if you're brand new, you know, sometimes, you know, you might go to YouTube and see some messages and, and, and start crossing over. But what we want you to hear tonight is how simple to really keep this. And that's the, the blessing of where we have and who we have on here not tonight is Mike Popovich, which again, he has built a, a, a unbelievable and I want you to kind of see this picture, unbelievable lifestyle with his family. And my wife and I just spent two days at his house um, two weeks ago. And you go in and you just feel how relaxed they are, how simple they keep the messages they're sharing with, with folks, just as myself. And that's what we're going to do tonight. And I want everybody just to kind of sit back, take a deep breath, and, and hear that what Mike's going to share with you is not only is, is something that he's been walking and living for the last 20 years, but in a difficult, with a difficult product, and now it just got easier. And even in the last six months, it just got easier here at True United. So Mike, listen, if you were going to go share with a brand new person today, what would be your approach and how, how, would, you, how would you approach them? But more so, what would you, what would you, you, you know, I don't know, suggest that they do when they first get started, whether it's in their first 24 hours, their first week, their first 30 days, what would that look like to you? Yeah. <clears throat> and, uh, uh, and this is exactly what I'm doing too, which is, which is great. And I said, you're going to find your, your, your method, your way to do it in your own personality. You know, we certainly want to give people the flexibility to do whatever they want to do. So, but if you were me, this is what I would do is, is basically um, I would, I would just go, Hey, Darren, I think you made a great decision to get started with True United and, and uh, uh, said, you know what, what, what are you looking for in this? You want to make, uh, you know, $500 a month. You want to make 5,000 a month. You want to make 50,000 a month. And honestly, <laughs> the answer doesn't matter to me because what in each of those cases, I'm going to teach him the same thing. Because if you want to make $500 a month, I would tell him the same thing. If he wants 5,000, I'd tell him the same thing. I'd tell him 50,000. It's just whether they want to keep doing it. So I would, if he said, you know what, I, I, I want to make $500 a month, I would say, fantastic. Uh, do you have 20 minutes sometime where I can get you in front of a computer? <clears throat> and I think this is so key guys is um, don't just connect them, expect they're going to know what they do uh, or know what to do. I would get them in front of the computer and I would do a couple things with them. I would say, I want you to sign up for the Amazon rebate club. And if you go to the wall guys is uh, you can sign up for that with, with messenger <clears throat> and you're going to see deals almost daily uh, where you're going to get 60, 70, 80%. Right now we're baiting it with a lot of the, the big reward brands, but you're going to see because of our relationship with Carlos and a lot of the different top Amazon sellers out there, great, great products that, uh, you know, 50%, 60%, 80% payback on the price for points. So I, I would, I would say that's your number one thing. And then, uh, uh, you know, just buy what you want and then let's go to the big reward brands. And I would kind of step them through, explain what all those things are and just go, you know what? my wife and I probably use 30 products a day from there between Zao and Organifi and, and Van Gogh and, and Healthy Vita and uh, Puracy. <clears throat> and I'm sure I'm missing things, but we honestly do. And, and so from the time we wake up and I just share with them and I said, you know what, I would find four, five, six products a day between that and the big reward rounds, you're going to do a hundred points. Then the next thing is you're going to get cash back on that. Then the next thing I would go, Hey, is there anybody you can share this with right now? In fact, if you want my help, I'll help you. And don't make it complicated. I, I always tell people, don't get cute. You know, some people try to overcomplicate this thing. And, and I would, you know, whether, uh, you know, I know, Darren, you've got your method with the uh, plug, play, get out of the way, which I love. You know, some people want to, to give memberships away, et cetera. I like the, 
the lowest common denominator always that I think anybody could do. That's what I love. So, you know, I love the, the fact that you can, hey, I can call you up and go, Darren, you know what? I just connected with this free platform. You know, have a couple seconds. I want you to show you something. And uh, just keep it at that. And you know what? Go help them go find three guys. Teach them to do 100. They're a promoter. Teach them how to do six. Share it with six people. They're a pay setter. They're going to make several hundred bucks a month. So that's what I would do, guys. And then I would uh, plug them into the Trinidad Nation Facebook pages. Make sure they know about the webinars that are going all week. And uh, that's it. And it's that simple. I I'm telling you, it's that simple. <laughs> All right, Mike. So let me ask you this. You've got this person over here that's built big teams before. Would you treat them any different? I would not treat them any different. So you got somebody that's brand new. So yep. you're going to treat them the same way, correct? Every time. It, it, to me, it has to be the same. You know, other people might have different methods, et cetera. But, uh, you know, when, when, when you and Kevin flew out and met with Carlos and I, I think I treated you that way. Absolutely. And I'd known what you guys had done. but. Uh, uh, because you know what, if, if we're consistent like that with a consistent message, um, that gives people confidence. Because I think a lot of times, uh, like whether it's like yourself or, you know, Sharbo or any of these guys who have built big teams, they think we have some uh, magic pixie dust or something. And they're always in the back of their mind. I think they're, I wonder what they do. And uh, I'm telling you, if anybody who's been around me ever, this is what I do. <laughs> and uh, I want them to come away going, my gosh. If that's all that guy does, I'm going to kill this thing. Mike, there's a bunch of new people on here right now, you know, and, and I'm just going to ask you to just to share a couple little stories, if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. Um, and just, just to keep it simple, but you know, in the beginning we looked at this and you know, when, when, when you look at this, um, how we made this a not-for-profit company where there's, there's no breakage in, with true knighted how the money stays in there and we can you just kind of talk about that for just a minute and how how big of a deal that is for our compensation yeah yeah and if you don't understand breakage or anything uh that just means the company keeps the money that's a simple way to say the company keeps the money um so when uh when dr nico and i uh were, were chatting early on and and uh you know we had this vision kind of and and I had a pretty good deal going. You know, my, my wife and I had been financially independent for 18 years. I hadn't had a job for 18 years. And, and uh, uh, Jet.com had just been sold for $3 billion. I think it was Walmart. Don't, don't quote me on that. I think Walmart bought Jet.com for $3, million, $3 billion with a B. And, uh, and Nico's kind of showing me how a profit plan works versus a typical multi-level and all these things. And, and honestly, guys, I was like, this is divine. It's so simple, but so powerful. Um, I was like, this is divine. And so, uh, I just said, Nico, here's the thing. I love you. And, uh, I think you're going to absolutely crush it with this, you know, unique thing, just like you did in dentistry. I said, but, uh, here's what I want to know. If, if Walmart comes to you three years from now, if, if, uh, you know, Google comes, if Amazon comes, um, and they say, you know what, we want to buy true United for 3 billion. I said, I don't care who you are. That's a temptation because that sets up generations of generations of wealth. And uh, you have all the right to do it. It was your idea. It was your capital. Um, but why? Give me a little bit of confidence that you'll never sell this thing. And then I'll walk away from what I had. And uh, some of you guys know how he talks to me. It's funny. He's like, hey, Mikey, give me a couple of days. And so he comes back and I said, I got it. He goes, tonight is just going to be this LLC. And we're going to pay the bills. So we're going to pay the you know, shipping costs and customer support and uh, you know, web, web development and everything else that comes along, product cost with, with a company like this. And after we pay the bills, everything else is going to get paid out every month to every one of us. So there's no breakage, meaning the company doesn't take anything off the top. In fact, there's no salaries. Uh, myself, the managing partners, Ron, Carlos, Nico himself, um, none of us take anything off the top. We make the money in the profit pool just like you guys of building networks of people. And he said that way, uh, there's no money retained. There's no earnings retained. If, if, uh, if somebody was tempted to ever sell this thing and they change the deal, if there's no money there and they stop paying us to buy products there, it would be worth zero. So we pretty much made it unsellable. And uh, after he showed me that, I said, all right, my friend, um, I put in my resignation and 
and went through my two years of uh, non-solicit and non-compete. You know, Mike, that grabbed my attention in the very beginning because of walked, what you walked away from. And what I want people to understand is you were with one company for 20 years, but you did things so much different than what I've ever seen in the industry. You know, you didn't put these huge goals on people. You didn't, you didn't put these huge requirements on people, but you actually just asked questions about who they were, where they, what they wanted to do and just walk them through that process. Would you talk a little bit about that, about the goals and stuff? Um, you know, yeah. and just keeping it simple. Yeah. Um, you know, I, uh, uh, when I first got started in this industry, I'd never heard of it, never saw it. You know, I just had graduated from the Air Force Academy. I was an aeronautical engineer. My wife was mechanical and, and we had a pretty good life, you know, it's, uh, uh, but then I saw this, this thing, uh, called networking, direct sales, whatever. And I was just stunned to be honest with you. Like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. It was so logical to me, honestly. And, uh, and, but here's what I know. People aren't logical because if they were logical, you could go become a legend in this in 10 minutes outside of Walmart. You know, if you go, Hey, how much did you spend a month in Walmart? And most people spend hundreds of dollars or Kroger or wherever they shop. And I go, if I could just show you where you could buy one or two products from a website and find one a month who does that. And uh, even if the question is, well, what is the product? Honestly, my answer would be, I don't really care. I'm going to show you a financial plan, not a, uh, not a, uh, it's, it's not overpriced. It's exact same, but people are doing, et cetera. But, uh, if you shared that with one person a month and everybody shared that with one person a month in this model, honestly, in 12 months, you would have 5,096 people. If they just bought one product from Amazon reward club and got 30 points, they would make $35,000 a month. Now, if people were logical, you could be a legend in 10 months or in 10 minutes and do it. So I know people are not logical. What's going on? There's another driver there where the possibility to fail. It's great. You know, I could go put this together. That sounds fantastic, Mike. But you know what? How they're programmed, how they're pre-wired kicks in. And uh, most people look at this and go, one more thing to fail at, no matter how good the thing is. So I was taught like everybody else, probably like you, Darren, as well. I get in and they're like, hey, show this many things, do this many things, do this much, set a goal, put a timetable on it, and you're going to hit it. And you know what? That works for a very small percentage of people. I was not one of those guys. So I tried it for a little while and I was getting nowhere and I was getting frustrated, to be honest with you. And then Barb and I just looked at each other because uh, one of the leaders at the time, he said, Mike, this should be able to be done on two or three hours a week. And uh, I said, you know what? I was pre-med at that time, a full-time engineer. And I said, I can do that. And I'm going to either prove that this works on two or three hours a week or everybody's lying. And so what I really started to do is, you know, people go, how'd you learn how to do this thing is uh, <laughs> I tell people laying in bed. And I mean that because here, here's what uh, I've, I've studied human nature. I've, uh, you know, we run ministry. We, we've done this for 20 plus years. You really get a PhD in people. And here's what I know that I know that I know. So if I was like, Darren, what, what do you want out of this thing? And let's just say, pick anything. Uh, let's say it's $20,000 a month for my family. My first thing is not to tell people, Here's how hard you work, you know, and that's what it is most times. Hey, develop the plan, work your plan and you got it. Well, you know what? I've seen people work a zillion times harder than me and never really get anywhere, which I would say is probably 97% of you on this call. And uh, we wanted to fix that. At least I've always wanted to fix that. And I know you have too, Darren, which is why we kind of connect, I think on this is, uh, so I would tell them this, I would go, well, Darren, you know what? You're really not after uh, $20,000 bills with dead presidents on it. What you're really after is what that buys you, but even more importantly, how do you feel when you get it? And so let's just say uh, you go, you know what? I, oh, my shoulders could come down a little bit. Twenty thousand dollars a month would 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 get me out of debt. It would pay my bills. Um, I would feel I would feel valuable. I'd finally feel like I was successful. That's what I want. And I was going, now that's what you're after. So twenty thousand dollars a month. Is a, is a great motivator, but here's what I want you to do. I want you to see that. I want you to picture that as if it's already done until you feel the feeling. You know, if you're, if you're, what you're really after, let's say, I'm just going to pick one. Let's just say you want, you want security. Oh, <sighs> it's being in the now, right now, feeling secure, visualizing that, picturing that. And, uh, I can just tell you this is, is if people do that consistently, um, human beings have the unique ability 
to realize what they behold. Another way to say that is you become what you focus on most of the time. And most of the time it's called worry because people meditate on the wrong thing. They, they play things over and over in their mind that are, could possibly happen. It's usually on the negative end. Well, guess what? Human beings are wired where if you, if you do it the other way, hey, I'm going to focus on what's right and, uh, and see it as if it's already done for a handful of minutes when I wake up, a handful of minutes when I go to bed, and, uh, and I'm going to have it. And so I'll just tell you my story, guys, is um, Barb found a, a single cup of coffee in a magazine. There's a picture, and it said, imagine a stress-free day. And so I was an engineer. I drive to work like most of you guys every day, and I'd go sit in my cube. And uh, I would take a handful of minutes to, uh, to calm myself down because, you know, driving to work and you're stressed and you're pounding coffee or whatever you guys do. And uh, oh, I would just try relax and I would close my eyes. You know, I, I would just picture myself. I said, you know what? There's going to be one day where I'm going to be sitting in, in my house in Colorado. It's going to be a beautiful snowy day. And uh, I'm going to wake up with my wife, sit on my couch, have a cup of coffee and just talk and read and, and to just be with each other. And I would try to see it. I would try to smell the coffee. I would try to do all of those things. And, uh, uh, and by the way, we've done that for the last 18 years. Darren, you were at our house. That's literally what we do every morning. And, um, but here's what's really cool, guys. I had about 20 people that uh, uh, were involved at the time. Not a lot of people doing everything, whatever. When I really consistently did that, three months later, we had 340 and I didn't change one thing. No, Mike, you're right. I don't think anybody was up before eight o'clock at your house in two days. I was there besides <laughs> me. So, and then when we do, we go sit and eat, drink coffee. <laughs> and, and, and that's exactly right. And, and it's, um, you know, it was a very comfortable feeling, you know, and that's, I think all of us want that in our house where we can wake up and just, ah, oh, how comfortable does it feel? The security. Yeah. And I'll tell you, can I give you a little formula? Because a lot of you guys need formulas, even though I just shared that with you. Is that okay? Yes, absolutely. All right. So, because, I, hey, I'm an engineer, so I know how some of you analytical engineers, uh, how, how you guys think that. I, um, I don't need rah-rah. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And in fact, those are the guys that need it more than ever. They just convince themselves that they're analytical. And I, go, I can prove to them because I go, well, you're not doing anything. I just showed you how to go make 30000 a month in about 10 minutes if you're really logical. Um, so I know they're not, but th that's okay. So if they need a little formula, just imagine this is take your thoughts and then right below it, put your speech. And then right after that is the action. See, most training in here goes, Hey, I want to make $20,000 a month. I want to make $5,000 a month. Darren, here's what we're going to do. They, they, they only focus on the work habit. This is what's going to do. Show this many, teach this many, give this many away, whatever it is. And, uh, and then you're going to hit your goal. Guys, I'm, I'm telling you that rarely works. It re works with the top couple percent ever. Well, I'm interested in most of you guys here that that hasn't worked for um, because I wasn't naturally wired that way. It's pretty interesting. I learned to wire myself that way, but I wasn't. So here's what I would encourage you to do. Put the actions last. So the thoughts are exactly what I just described. Hey, what do you want? And guys, it takes effort to, to uh, change your thought life a little bit. But think about that is your subconscious is really what you're trying to do. You're really trying to reprogram your subconscious. And if you do it a handful of minutes every day, it doesn't take that long. It takes a couple of weeks where you literally rewire yourself where your subconscious is a million times more powerful than your, than your conscience. And that's what you're going to get, guys. So, hey, your thoughts until you feel that feeling of what you're really after, okay? Then your speech, um, you learn how to speak success. And uh, uh, you know what? I had to evaluate myself when I first got started. In fact, uh, Barb and I, we put little stickies up. And we just started marking off every time we were negative. And it shocked us. We couldn't go five minutes without some negative thought, negative speech, whatever. And we're like, man, we thought we had our act together. And now it's, it's you know, it's, we're not perfect by any means. We get frustrated and everything else, but we really try to work at it. But here's, here's how I did it. I started speaking success. So um, if people have ever brought, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen, guys, with United. We're, with the Nico, the vision with what we're going to do, where we're going to get paid on, Everything we do ultimately, whether you're getting your lawn mowed or whatever, is fascinating. But uh, um, people will still ask you a handful of questions. How long have you been in? How much money have you made? How many people do you got? Uh, 
and none of that matters to me really, but I, I got tired of going, oh, Darren, I haven't been in long enough or I've been in two years. I really haven't done anything. Well, I haven't made any money. Um, I've only got 10 guys, but they're not doing anything. Well, you know what? That, that doesn't inspire anybody. In fact, I always tell everybody, you know, when you cast vision, guys, when Bill Gates said my vision is to have a personal computer on every desk uh, around the world, guess how many personal computers were built? Zero. He was casting the vision. He was going, there's someday there's going to be almost everybody in the world is going to have a personal computer on their desk. And uh, he's casting vision. So what I learned to do, and, what I, and you guys can do whatever you want again, but learn to speak success. So I just said, doc on it. I'm going to start. This is going to work for me. And I don't have anything to show for it yet. I've been in too long without making any money. I don't have enough people doing anything, but I'm going to change that. And I'm going to start by talking the right way. So if you ask me, how long have I been in? How much money have I made? Uh, how many people I've got? My answer was always the same. And I had been in for a couple of years, guys. And uh, I didn't change this until I was making over $2,000 a month. So if you ask me, uh, hey, this sounds great. How, how much money are you making? This is my answer. Even when I was making $2,000 a month, Darren, I would say, you know what, Darren, I haven't made any money yet because I'm just getting started. But I tell you what, with what Dr. Nico's putting together, what's going on, I'm going to go help non-other guys make a hundred grand in the next 12 months. I'll be cash flowing twenty, thirty thousand $30,000 a month. Does that appeal to you? And it didn't matter what they asked me. How many guys do you have? You know what, Darren? I don't have any because I'm just getting started. But I tell you what, I'm going to help nine other guys make a hundred grand this year. Dr. Nico is one of the most ingenious business minds I've ever seen. And uh, I'll be cash flowing twenty, thirty thousand $30,000 a month in the next 12 to 18 months. Does that appeal to you? And that's what I did. And I'm telling you guys, the action follows. So thought, speech, action. So that's a little formula if you want that. Mike, I totally agree with you. You know, and to add on that, um, I always said, if I could find somebody, if I could find a mentor that believed in me and maybe saw more in me than I saw in me, that was willing to spend some time with me, I knew I could do it. I For knew sure. I could. For sure. And, and Mike, that's what I've seen, not only what you've done for me, and I've been blessed. I mean, there's a, I've been able to do some things I never thought were possible, but you have shared a way to make it more, more fun, more relaxing, which is going to attract more people, you know? And, and that's where, when you've got that other belief, I mean, you, you look at what Nico did. Nico, when, when he first was, was, was flirting with the idea of Reese's Dental, you know, Mike, I know we talked about this. He went and shared this with 10 dentists. Seven of them said, I don't see it. Three of them said, you know, I think this could work. And those three got busy with him and they just created a, a $350 million business. That's going to a, I mean, it's going to a billion dollar brand right no now. No joke. No, no, easy. Yep. Now, what do you think those other seven husbands or wives of those other dentists feel like? Yeah. Well, he shared with, uh, I think he shared it with you and James and some different guys too is, all seven of them came back to him later and said, Hey, can we be a part of this? And he said, uh, no, the, to, the opportunity to own is gone, but you can become a dentist. Exactly. You know, so <laughs> I wouldn't want to be one of those seven, but you know, but you know, here's the thing. I saw this very exact same thing. I saw, you know, years ago, a company and I thought there's no way it'll ever happen. And then I saw them come in and start another company. And I was like, there's no way I'm going to miss it. And that's almost the way I feel here, but it's something totally different with, with simplicity. And if he's already built one billion dollar brand, what are the chances of him creating another? Yeah, pretty high. Exactly. And and so that's why, you know, that's the reason I've locked arms and just really kind of put my ego and pride in my back pocket and just watched. If he's built a billion dollar brand, you've been with one company for 20 years and you did it with simplicity and, and you've got a, you know, the closest thing to a perfect marriage with, with an amazing family that I've ever seen in this kind of environment, which most people are at each other. We, that is the formula as far as what I saw. Yeah. yeah. But just to, to give another thing, you know, people say when they see this opportunity, they get all weirded out. Mike, and you shared something with me when I was in Denver that just kind of, it was another one of those light bulbs where you, where you compared Ebates to true knighted versus value versus opportunity. Would you touch on that for just a minute? Uh, I think I know what you're asking sometimes. Sometimes <laughs> I don't know what we talked about. So 
I don't know. You you come up with a bunch of brilliant stuff, and I mean, it's just sometimes what you said. Remember, you were talking about Ebates, where where people come in. There's a value there. There's no opportunity, and oh. they're a few cents back. But did that trigger it? Um, just uh, comparing this to Ebates, you mean? Well, and what I'm talking about when somebody comes in and they see the value, you know, where they, they don't get weirded out because they, they go in, they, they click on a link, they get some money back and they're, they're cool with it and they share it with everybody because there's a value. But as soon as you add an opportunity to it is what you were talking about. Comparing oh, to I know what you're saying now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I just can't say it as, as, as elegant as you said. Well, I think what we were discussing is, is a lot of people don't understand um, the, you know, sometimes when people look at this industry and, and true United guys, honestly, has removed all of the barriers of entry, you know, there's no shoe to drop here. And I, I love sharing that with people. I go, the more you dig, the better it's going to be. Now people can still take a negative slant on anything. And, uh, uh, and I would just, you know, we have the ability to choose. We have the ability to choose what's always right. And we have the ability to choose what's always wrong. And I'm just telling you, if you, if you focus on what's only right, um, you'll live like people could never live. But here's the difference. You know, Ebates is pretty easy is what we were talking about because you can get in and go, hey, you know what? You're going to get a, a handful of cash back for what you do once every three months, et cetera. You, you really have no ability to share it with people except for one time. And then the rest of the time, uh, all of that money that you drove traffic to, to Ebates, guess who keeps that? The shareholders. Well, the cool thing here is we're the shareholders. But anyway, so there's no opportunity to fail. You just go, wow, that's cool. You know, I could make 20, 30 bucks, you know, every quarter and such. Well, well, shoot, you can do that with one product, a handful of products every month here on True United. But here's the, here's the difference here, guys, is you also have the ability to go make 50,000 a month, 500,000 a month in this. And all of a sudden you've introduced the opportunity to fail, which most people hate. Our whole education system now today is based on don't make mistakes. And uh, because then you get a bad mark or somebody's going to be disappointed in you and, and uh, you get programmed to avoid failure. Well, so I know we need to reprogram. This is the coolest thing in the world. Like I said, if, 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 we, uh, if, if people were totally logical and weren't programmed, most of them for negative, for failure, it's success. I, I don't care what we sold. We could sell ketchup and uh, uh, we could sell ketchup for a hundred dollars a bottle. And this would make sense to me because you go, you know what, here, Darren, this is all you need to do. We're going to, we, you, you sell that for a hundred bucks. Yep. Well, let me show you the, the, the catch here is if you share it with 10 guys and they share it with 10 guys and they share it with 10 guys, you're going to make $20,000 a month. That made sense to me. It really did. And I didn't have the program. Fortunately that I looked at the negative, the failure, et cetera, but most people do guys. So understand this is a different animal. We have to, we have to, uh, uh, get them or, they, we have to get them around people like Darren and James and Sharbo and you know, a lot of these leaders on here. I'm, I'm going to miss people, but uh, because you know what, you become like who you hang out with and you literally reprogrammed where you'll look at yourself two, three months from now and go, I can't believe I used to think that way. I can't believe I used to be so afraid of failure. I can't believe um, I used to worry about what, what negative could happen. And now I just see the bright lights of true United and what's going on. And I can just tell you it's going to get better and better and better. So I think that's what you're after, but if I missed it, just let me know. No, you're spot on, you know, okay. and, and like I said, Mike, there's a, there's things that you shared with me in the very beginning when we first got connected to true United that uh, when Kevin Weldon called and told me about that, I was like, there's no way free. How can you make money for free? Yeah. And, and, you know, and thank goodness he was adamant to, to come sit down and talk with me because I just didn't see free. I yeah. didn't see the value. Okay. And, uh, and that was, uh, but, but he came and he sat down and, and then three weeks later, we're flying out meeting you. I was like, there's no way two plus two is not four on this deal. But here's the other thing. When I found out you were an engineer, half my, half my family are engineers. All right. There's some of them. I still don't understand what they do. Please forgive us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but the other half are CPA. So, you know, sometimes my Thanksgivings are very boring. I'm the black sheep in the family. But, but Mike, here's what, here's what, um, here's what just really just blew me away is that you're an aeronautical engineer and you've simplified this. Like I've never seen an engineer be able to do. And so that gives somebody hope like me that to, to be able to simplify something 
to go out and share something that we already do is to keep it simple. How does it make you feel? Let's go change some lives, one connection at a time. Help these families make an extra 500 bucks like we know we can do. And that's what Kevin and I saw when, when we went out to, uh, to Denver the very first time that you guys were real. You were in it to win it. You didn't have to be here. You've already got, you know, Carlos has already proven himself in the Amazon model. You've already proven yourself in this industry. Nico is already a billionaire. I mean, it's coming. Yep. Why are you doing this again? And your passion to come help us and to simplify it for some average ordinary people like myself to come in and have this kind of opportunity to play on your playground. We thank you. And so I just wanted people to hear how simple that was. We're, we're at the top of the hour right now. I think we've gone plenty long enough. The information you, you've put here, anybody can take this and apply it and, and really put whatever, however many comments in your check that you want to. You just got to plug into the right people, enough of the right people. There's 300 million people in the United States. We need nine. Yeah. We need nine of buying some things that we are, that we're already buying. You know, Mike, and you said that to me in the beginning, could you replace some of the items that you normally use for financial freedom? We did it. And guess what? It's happening right now. So Mike, thank you for coming on doing this tonight. You bet, my friend. Awesome. Awesome webinar a while ago. We're going to simplify this and, uh, and just go build the mess out of it and, and go live life with no limits. So, Mike, thank you. Appreciate everybody else awesome, joining us tonight. And uh, we'll see you on the next Zoom. I uh, hope you have a great weekend and uh, let's go make it happen. Awesome, buddy. God bless you guys. We'll see you on the trail. Thanks, Mike.